Hey everyone, uh, people often ask me which cubes I use in my mains for competitions, and the last time I made one of these videos, I think every single cube is now outdated, so uh, I decided that I'd go ahead and make another one right before the new year. So uh, it's the end of December 2016 right now. If you're watching this in a few months or a year or a couple years, then a lot of this stuff will be outdated as hardware constantly is coming out and better and better cubes are always being produced, so I'll often be changing to use the best cube that's out. Um, for all this stuff, if it's available on the market, you can get it at thecubicle.us. If it's not, it is being produced by thecubicle.us, and they'll probably be selling it at some point in the future. However, I don't have any details on any of the specifics. Um, so to start out, uh, I'll just go over the lubes real quick. Um, this is a Mario lube. It's a pretty basic lube. It's known for being incredibly fast, but wearing out really quickly, and that's pretty much what it does. Uh, you put it in your cube if you want it to be as fast as it possibly can get. Uh, oftentimes it makes your cube a little too slick um, as it just gives you pure speed. It will wear out in probably 30 to 40 minutes though. Um, but it's pretty useful for like competitions if you need a little bit of extra speed. Put it in, work it in for about 10 minutes, then it'll be good to go while you're competing before it starts to wear out. Uh, while practicing, um, you probably have to apply it at least once an hour, which is kind of annoying, but that's just kind of how it works. Also, I use cubicle silk, which is the much thicker, you can kind of tell it's a little thicker of a lube. Uh, it's a pretty good all-purpose lube. It works on a lot of different stuff. Kind of put it in a cube. Maybe if it's a little kind of too slick with the Maru feel, lubicle silk will usually kind of slow it down to a more controllable speed. Um, this new blue lube is produced by the cubicle. It uh, doesn't have a name or a release date yet, but it was made to actually emulate Maru lube, and it does a really good job at that. Um, it's not quite as fast as Marlu, but it definitely gets really close and it doesn't wear out. That's the best thing. It's supposed to be Marlu that doesn't wear out and it does a pretty good job. Um, I put it in my 6x6 a lot and I really couldn't tell that it was starting to wear out for like at least 100 sols, which is probably 10 times better than Marlu in that aspect. Um, it, still, if you want the absolute max speed, you're going to probably want to use Maru, but this will get you almost as close, but for way, way, way longer of a period of time. So um, I really like this, especially on uh, some of the bigger cubes. So uh, in terms of actual hardware, I'm only going over the events I actually compete in, which are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then one-handed. Um, I'll start with 3x3. So I have a Cubicle Magnetic Valk 3. Um, this is available on the cubicle. I think it's like 50 bucks right now. Um, I really like it. Uh, a lot of top cubers have been picking up the magnetic cubes. I definitely think that they're a little better than their standard counterparts. Um, for a lot of the top cubers share this opinion that the magnets do kind of help out in terms of uh, reducing the small errors that you may have during competition solves, but really overall they're not going to make you a better cuber or really drastically improve your times. I found uh, similar results myself. I really like the magnetic cube. It gives me more stability, more confidence when performing some of my algorithms that I mess up a little more, but it really isn't like leaps and bounds above the regular Valk 3. However, I definitely do prefer it. Um, I think also if you're a slower cuber or a newer cuber that the magnets might help you out a little more as you tend to mess up your algorithms a little more, and so the differences might be larger, but especially for the elite cubers, it's definitely something nice to have, but not 100% necessary. For 4x4, I'm using a magnetic Yuxian Blue 4x4 with the Thunderclap Spring Swap. Uh, this 4x4 is, I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, Phil from the Cubicle made this one specifically for me. It's not actually available. I think there's only three or four uh, that have been made so far, but uh, I really do like it. It's fantastic. Uh, the outer layers are actually the first time I've ever really believed that the outer layers are on a cube, a big cube are getting close to a 3x3, which a lot of people have said on other cubes, but this is the first time where I actually think it's accurate to make that claim. Um, yeah, uh, I guess this isn't actually available right now, and when it does come out, it will probably be very expensive. Um, before this, I was using the new Chi Cube, but uh, after Phil sent me this one, I definitely like this one. Um, so for 5x5, I'm using the Yuxian 5x5. Uh, there, nothing's been done to this except probably like three or 4,000 solves. I've been using this since about May. It's uh, really, really, really fast, which is my favorite thing about it. A lot of people have been talking about the other cubes, and I kind of understand that as, I think for newer cubers, um, the Yuxian 5 is is not the most stable 5x5 on the market, but since I'm experienced enough, I've been doing 5x5 for a long enough time, I can easily, 
I'm easily able to handle it properly and the Yuxian definitely gives me the most speed which allows for a good mix of uh, speed and stability which gives me the best overall times. Um, I know Felix and I are still both using the Yuxian 5 and I definitely think that especially if you're a top Huber it's the best and it's a good cube to have as it just has the highest top speed and if you can control it it's definitely going to be the best cube. Um, for 6x6, I'm using the Yuxian Red 6x6 with the Yuxian 5x5 Spring Swap. Um, I really, I've been using this since June, I think. Used it all summer at Nationals, World, or Nationals Euros Asian Championships, and I'm continuing to use it. Uh, really, really, really like this cube. Uh, you do have to do the Spring Swap on it. That's absolutely necessary. Um, but yeah, it's much smaller than the competition, and I think the 65 millimeter size is definitely the best for a 6x6. Um, but yeah, it's uh, really nice. It has a good mix of speed and stability, similar to the 5x5. Um, if you have accurate turning with this cube, then it hardly ever pops. And the only time I get pops are when my turning is not as accurate. The corner pieces will sometimes fall out, but. Really overall it offers speed that the other cubes really just can't match and the maybe slightly more pops is definitely worth it in the long run. Um, for 7x7 I'm using the Yuxian 7x7 stickerless version. Uh, I really like this cube. Uh, I've been using it since I got it after right after Asian Championships. Uh, a lot of people on YouTube have been saying some more great things about this cube. It's definitely a big step up from the Moyu uh, uh, Alfu, Cubic Alfu. Uh, I don't actually have the Chi Wuji 7x7 yet, so I can't make any comparison to that. But right now I'm on the Yuxian 7. Really like it. A fantastic cube. Um, not perfect, as I've mentioned in previous videos, but it is a 7x7, and I really think it's great. We'll be using it for probably the foreseeable future. Um, for one-handed, I don't really do one-handed, so I'd recommend talking to someone else that does, as a lot of one-handed cubers tend to have odd preferences, but uh, I'm using the regular Valve 3. Uh, I don't really like the magnetic one for one-handed for whatever reason, I just feel more comfortable with the regular Valve, but then again, not that great at one-handed, so if you're just curious about that. But if you're looking for a recommendation, probably go watch another video. Um, I guess for lubes in each of these cubes, for the uh, Magnetic Vault 3, no idea what's in it. Haven't done anything to it since Phil sent me this from the cubicle. Um, for the Magnetic Yuxian 4, uh, all I know is that there's a bunch of this blue lube in it, but I actually personally haven't done anything to this cube since I got it from Phil. He just told me that there was a bunch of the blue stuff in here. Uh, for the Yuxian 5, I forget. I haven't lubed this thing in ages. I forget what I used it on it a long, long, long time ago, but... Now mostly if it slows down a little bit, I'll just put a little bit of the blue stuff in it and then um, yeah, it'll be good for a long time. So not too much maintenance here. For my 6x6, uh, I don't think I put, I think it was mostly Maru to begin with and then when I got the blue lube, I uh, haven't used the blue lube on it since then. So yeah, just a ton of the blue lube here. For the Yuxian 7, um, when I got, I don't think I put anything into it when I got it. I actually... For the Yuxian 7, oh right, um, for the Yuxian 7 it was a little fast, a little slick when I got it, so I've been using some of the lubricable silk on this one to kind of give it a more controllable fast feeling as opposed to a little too slick and uh, uncontrollable. Um, for my one-handed Valk, I think I've been using silk, I really don't know, but really who cares. I don't do one-handed that much, or that well, so um, yep, there you go.